did it, man, I swear that she can get it Say if you a bad bitch, put your hands up high Hands up high, hands up high Tell them to the lights down right now Put me in the blues I'm talking about dark blue purple Go, go I recognize your fragrance, hold up You ain't never gotta say shit, ooh And I know your taste is a little bit ooh Influencer, so if you're not subscribed, what are you doing? I'm gonna Don't go. play with it. I'm gonna come beat you up. <laughs> hey, y'all, welcome back to a weekly vlog. Today is Monday, and guess what? We are headed on a road trip with Niana to Santa Rosa Beach, 38th Florida, Panama City Beach area. Never been there before, super excited. We're staying at this cute Airbnb and we're gonna have a good time. So this is something different we're doing for Halloween. Usually, you know, my friends and I dress up. We always dress up alike in our group of five, but this year, other people have things to do. We're getting older, people are maturing, people got shit to take care of. So Niana and I are going to create some t content, visit this cute Airbnb give y'all a tour of it give y'all a tour of the city things like that so we are actually about to head out it is 10 a.m this is my outfits i have on my a6 with my socks my skims and a little hoodie this cropped hoodie is from undressed cute little road trip outfit so we are packed up i have so much stuff because these are all my clothes and shoes. This is um, stuff to shoot content, lights, cameras, action, all of that. And there, of course, I had to pack my laptop, things like that, and work stuff. Because we're going to be having a lot going on, okay? Making sure that I have all my stuff. Turn off the lights in here like i have everything we're about to head out i'm waiting on niana i'm gonna try to run to target if she's not ready because i need to grab a couple things oh let me grab an alani definitely gonna need an energy drink definitely need one of these girls this is our first road trip together and i think it's gonna be fun it's a short drive, five hours, so nothing too crazy. We were looking at the flights, and there weren't any really good ones, and then we saw that it was only five hours away. We were like, fuck it. Road trip will be fun. We've never done that before. It's a new experience, and it's only five hours away. So that's how far my drive was from Charleston. Look at the view out this morning, y'all. It's so beautiful. One second. Isn't this just gorgeous? Waking up to that every day is such a blessing. And it's so calming. It just, I don't know, it's such a vibe. I'm grabbing my little bag. And I'm gonna go load up the car. So that way, when Niana tells me she's ready, we can hit the road. And I might need to grab a little gas too. Why would I open this knowing I gotta carry all this stuff downstairs? I will check back in with y'all later. Wish us a safe, Road trip, safe travels, no issues. We'll see y'all on the road. Hey y'all, we're on the road. And we are four, I wish it was four minutes. Four hours and 11 minutes away. Niana's in the car. And we are supposed to get there at 320. Our check-in to our Airbnb isn't until four. So we have time to stop and get food. And if we wanna get in, for the Airbnb to get to do that as well. So I'm super excited. Just had a call with um, the owner of the Airbnb and she was letting us know things to do in the area, stuff to eat, stuff like that. So I'm really interested to see how it works out. And the weather is supposed to be like 80, I think. 70s, 80s. Update y'all when we get closer when we do our stop for food or coffee. Did you want some coffee? I actually do. We do want coffee, so we have to find a Starbucks. 
Starbucks or some other coffee shop on our way. Ended. Hey y'all, so we just made it to Santa Rosa Beach in 30A. I don't know if I already told y'all, but I think I did in my last vlog. If not, my friend Niana and I got the opportunity to stay in 30A so we can experience um, this cute Airbnb area called Seagrove Highlands and just experience the area, see what they have in this town and stay at this cute little spot. So we just got here. We went to the grocery store and got some snacks and some drinks, of course. And I think we're going to get on bikes. Super cool, they have bikes that you can rent. Or no, you don't have to rent them, they come. You get four bikes with your stay and you can also rent additional ones if you need more than that. But it's a very cute little vacation town. So it looks like people mostly ride on bikes or use golf carts to get places. So we just went to the grocery store, got a couple little snacks and drinks, and we're gonna get on bikes and just ride around, see what we can find. We haven't eaten anything. We left Atlanta at like 11 a.m., 10.30 a.m., and it was like a five-hour drive. So it wasn't that bad of a drive. It wasn't a bad drive at all. I'm gonna give y'all a little tour of where we are staying. It is called Sea and Sand, 30A. So this is when you first walk in and it's perfect for families because cute little bunk bed, TV area. So in this room, super cute dresser, TV, queen size bed, closet. Here's the kitchen and it comes equipped with everything you need. Air fryer. <laughs> Coffee mug. What is this called? Coffee maker. Toaster. Blender. Forks and knives. All your cutlery and things like that. Bar stuff. Plates and cups. All the essentials. I'm already close to the mob. I'm already known as the goat. Can try and get close, but you won't. I already the garage. Super cute. This is our mess of stuff we just got from the grocery store. CMB. Yes, sir. If you ever want to go on a vacation and experience a place that's not too far, you want to just drive to for a quick little getaway with your family, friends, your man, whatever the case may be, it's so quiet. We haven't um, obviously seen anything yet. We literally got here, came in, ran to the grocery store. So I'll be taking you along our trip so you can see all the things to do here, the stuff we eat, and our recommendations if you want to stop by so look forward to this vlog and we'll see y'all later on our next adventure hey y'all getting ready it's 7 19 which seems pretty early for a normal time but here i think that that's dinner place is closed at like 10 in this area so Getting ready to go, trying to decide what type of vibe. I need to ask Niana what she's wearing so we look like we're going to the same place. Not one wearing jeans and the other one wearing heels. I meant wearing a dress. I need my clips. So just finished doing my hair and makeup. I did just a quick little look. We were supposed to ride bikes earlier, but we had some content to edit. So it took us a little while to get that done and it got a little late. So we're going to drive and find a place to have dinner and some drinks and then we'll start fresh tomorrow. So I'll update y'all when we are headed out the door when we find where we're going to sit. Y'all, we just got dressed. 
it's a we going outside we're about to go get some food and drink we haven't eaten you guys that is insane it's 8 23 and guess who hasn't had a morsel to eat mm. us so we're getting some content of course doing our tiki takis before we head out but so far so far so good What time is it? 9.05. Oh, they better. This is Keefley's sister. <laughs> I'm gonna pull up my on this. <laughs> Cheers. I'm Keefley's sister. I'm coming. <laughs> we have Mimi, Keefley's sister, with us today. I just cannot believe y'all. We got dressed. <laughs> And the restaurant said that they closed at 10, right? But we didn't know that we couldn't eat food past 9.30, was it? 9 o'clock. No, they closed at 11. But if I was keen to leave? No, 10.30. It was 10.30? Yeah. Oh. They closed at 10.30. You closed at 10.30, right? Yes, I closed at 10.30. Okay. So, we thought we were going here to get cute and have food. They said, y'all are five minutes late. You will not get set for dinner. <laughs> we haven't eaten anything at all today. That's the part that's fucked up. We've been drinking alcohol and eating. We had Starbucks. Shalice actually had a croissant at about like two o'clock, three o'clock. And Niana had Mike and Ike. I had Mike and Ike's that I had to share with the man in the liquor store. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. And so that's about it. We've been up. I don't know what time she woke up because she's an early bird. I got up probably like at. No, I got up at nine. My alarm kept going off and I was like not fucking with it. But yeah, I got up at nine and we have not eaten a real meal. Croissant, Mike and I. And drinking wine. Took a shot. And now we have an expression. Espresso martini. You're not even supposed to drink coffee on an empty stomach. We want stomach problems. And if the worker makes you get out of the fucking face, I want to talk shit about you. <laughs> Talk about y'all. We walked in at 9:05. The waitress, not the waitress, the hostess lady gonna look at her watch. Um, yeah, we take last in at nine. If I was Keith Lee, y'all would have stayed up. They would have said 3 a.m. and brought a DJ. It's okay though. We're gonna try a shady farm grill. So. Good morning, y'all. Happy Halloween. It's October 31st. Miana and I just woke up and we are about to go to a beach workout. I told you guys that at CNC San 30A, um, they have bike rentals that come with your stay. So we decided that we are going to ride bikes down to the beach and get a good workout in and probably go get us some lunch. So I've just been chilling out here on this patio, getting some work done this morning before we started our day. So we'll see y'all on the way to the beach. Y'all, we just rode our bikes to the beach. I look dusty, but we're trying to see if there's somewhere to change. Cause it's a little warm. But look at the view. Something about the way that you talk to me. Even when you're not around, I feel you, boy. I feel you, boy. Take with your love and your energy. Good morning, guys. It is a new day. And we are back. Live. And we are about to ride our bikes to get some food. Now, yesterday, we were not equipped for when the <laughs> temperature dropped. We had on bikinis. We had to buy sweatshirts. We had to ride home cold. So we are about to hop on our bikes and we're gonna go 
get some coffee and some food and explore. I'm excited. It's one o'clock. And we just stuck in. There's two other bikes if you want to switch out. Maybe I'm just, I'm like, I don't know. Let me see, sit on it. The BMX riding. Ah. Niana is super convinced that she needs. I think it's fine. <laughs> the girl is a fool, okay? Wow, that escalated quickly. We're back in the car. It's too windy. Let me show y'all a video. We thought I'm filming a TikTok get spend the day with us. Look at my face. wind cold yeah no it was cold so we're driving unfortunately we wanted to try our best not to have to use the car now because we can use our car in atlanta niana's back we're headed to go get some food and some coffee let me tell y'all where i went <laughs> <laughs> the wrong way had to because what took so long um first of all you guys my lace was showing so crazy I said immediately now put a hat on sis mm -hmm. you are not you will not show off in this sunlight so yeah and I'm back mm -hmm. okay so now is the perfect time somebody comments on my one of my videos my latest vlog and they said can you tell us how you feel about Keith Lee and the whole Atlanta fiasco Keith is my cousin, so <laughs> <laughs> watch out. I love Kiki. That just goes to show. Honestly, for people that are not from Atlanta, I hate to say it, but everything he's saying and doing is 100% accurate. And no facts. that he only did a few spots in the majority of places like that in, it, in Atlanta are like that. I just feel like the Atlanta industry, as far as like restaurants go, needed to be exposed because y'all continue to do this stuff and like, what Keith does, I think, will make restaurant owners and servers just be on top of their game all the time. Like, you just need to treat everybody like it's Keith Lee. I don't think he said anything negative. He told the truth. And people are mad about that. I think that's really weird. Just do your job, and then he won't have to get in his car and rate you one through 10. Literally, two things that I feel is one, like he stated, People reach out to him to come there. He doesn't seek out places to give them a rating. People literally beg, beg, beg him to come. And then when it's not something positive, y'all want to be mad. Should have been your shit. You asked me. <laughs> I wasn't even, I didn't even know this place I, existed. I'm, I'm doing you a favor. You asked me to come help you out. And two, I'm just a little worried about, I don't know. I'm not going to speak that to existence, but I just hope that people try to not do anything harmful to him or his family or anything yeah. like that because people are crazy and it's something as small as a fucking restaurant review that obviously that could change somebody's business um positively or negatively but it's like it's not his fault and y'all should not be people have been talking crazy to him and what we're not gonna do is that okay because that's my cousin Bye. so i love what he's doing 100 percent love that he came to atlanta and ripped <sighs> them to shreds honey because we have experienced that shit i was just about to say so that. many times so many times like how are you gonna have your hours on the internet be for instance 9 a.m to 6 p.m and then i get there at 4 30 and you're telling me you're closed how or like real popping brunch spots like he said in one of his videos also atlanta is a very big brunch sunday brunch place sunday brunch most places do not take reservations we have one of the most populated cities and then people are coming to tour like be tourists why can't i have a reservation so right. if i want to go to brunch on sunday i gotta get there at 6 a.m to be set at 8 a.m <laughs> what and then i'm in there and you tell me i can only be in here for an hour that sends me <laughs> what what is i've never seen that before until i moved to atlanta uh, you'll I get to the table and it's like yeah you can only sit here an hour and a half it takes y'all an hour to give me my food. So, Literally. what? 
literally just crazy it's a lot of stuff that like you wouldn't see other places you would have to see it to really believe it like that keep least stuff i know hearing it is probably like okay but like living in atlanta and that being your day to day that is it's really annoying even cardi b had to say something about it and she's cardi like mm -hmm. so imagine how they treat regular civilians who just like want to go out to eat and it's always like a big problem it's always waiting forever for your food the server is rude as hell to you and it's like bro i all right let me leave because y'all don't want me here for us too, I mean, are very like well connected and know a lot of people since we worked in the club industry and know a lot of owners of spots, whether it's club, lounges, restaurants, whatever. So even we get special treatment sometimes when it comes to like, oh, y'all are coming, I got y'all, y'all can sit down, come here and do that. But like, even if we didn't have that, people that are just coming there from out of town don't know anybody trying to go to certain restaurants brush spots lounges clubs anything yeah atlanta is a very biased place like black hollywood they are like if you're not somebody or know somebody or connected you're gonna have a hard time for real and i hate to fucking say it so i do hope that people take that into consideration and get on their shit my fear is and yana and i were talking about this they're just gonna be like oh he's gone now so we don't have anything else to worry about and get right back on that bullshit right right now, so, if he pop up okay again and then there's a lot of the thing is there's a lot of keith lee's are they open um yes oh yeah i see people outside parking spot yeah there's a lot of keith lee's y'all just don't know them and i'm pretty sure like when he didn't have like as big of a name people probably didn't care about you know what he had to say and not knowing that his influence influence on the internet is crazy because you reach everybody in the world so i think like there's a lot of people that do what he does and they will tear your Yelp reviews up and they will tear you down on the internet and not do it in a positive way like he does. So I just think everybody, every restaurant, no matter where you are, Atlanta, Tennessee, Texas, California, Florida, wherever you are, just be on top of your game and then you won't have to worry about a Keith Lee coming in. Treat everybody the same way. Treat the regular homeless looking person the same way that you would treat Beyonce. Literally, you never know who fine. you're serving and also... How would you feel like yourself as a server? That's my thing. Like, I don't want to ruin anybody's experiences as a server. How I was like, even if I had a bad day or attitude, I'm like, damn. If I went to a restaurant with my friends and this and that fucking server had an attitude, I'll be pissed. Like, bitch, right. cause you mad you got to ruin our experience. So it's like, treat your that or customers how you would want to be treated if you were going into a random restaurant. Period. In fact, so yeah, protect Keith Lee, please, because protect. he's doing the Lord's work. And is doing it in such a positive way like even when people treat his family horrible or do something wrong he does not even bash them like he could because the way i would be um uh, okay. <laughs> okay he does everything with grace and people still are being nitpicky with him like what do y'all want this man to do and the crazy part is he does so much positive like the one and i don't even think the way he could have went in on some of those restaurants he didn't even take the opportunity and dog them out like he could have but he does so much good and the one negative thing y'all are like blowing up and making way out of proportion what about all the restaurants that he has changed their businesses from like nobody coming in to now it's packed out parking lot packed the server is that y'all might think like, oh, a thousand dollars is not that much money but you don't know how much i'm into a server like i know somebody to me a thousand dollars child what so there's so many positive things that he does and everybody is just focusing on the negative everybody's on twitter like i have not seen so many keith lee videos outside of tiktok it's all on twitter instagram everywhere because y'all are honing in on the negativity that's the problem with people period y'all are honing in on the bad shit and not all the good stuff that he does because he does a ton of good stuff 100 percent. i was reading his comments this morning and there was people in there like I'm so invested. There was this girl like I live in Japan and I never plan on Japan. stepping. <laughs> I never plan on stepping foot in Atlanta, but I'm so invested in to hear about how this goes. I said that's crazy. That is insane. The Keith Lee effect. The Keith Lee effect, so baby. I will not see this parking lot. So we're at this cute little coffee shop called Black Bear that was the next door to where we're getting the crepes while we're waiting for the crepes to come. We have half off um, pastries 
and I got a matcha latte and Nene got a hot chai tea. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you. Perfect. Thanks. I'm gonna go do a review in the car. I'm weak. We got it. Let's try it. We got it. Let's try it and rate it one percent. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> I was trying to figure out why you was asking oh, me that. Oh, this is mine? That is yours. Oh. She said, what the hell is that? <laughs> why she talking about I got it? Let's try it. Let's mine. Ooh, wow. Oh, two sweet things. This is supposed to have egg, sausage, and something else inside of it. Inside? Yeah. Oh, oh. Breakfast burrito crepe. She got it. Let's try it. This mug. What is sitting on? Fresh off the grill. And I mean it. It's hot. Hot as hell. Mm. Left. Do it. Right. Do it. Do it. Yeah. I'm not impressed. Ooh, ooh. Definitely the food. Now I'm not satisfied. Now I gotta go get the taco or something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like that in, I'm not full. And I still got my cinnamon roll. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If I'm being honest, a lot of these niggas can't me. Me over here lollygagging. Hey y'all, I ain't said but a word. I thought I was about to try to film a TikTok get ready with me, but I don't have that much time. I have an hour, which might sound like a lot, but it's not. It's not a lot of time. Here we go with the eyebrows again. Can't do the eyebrows on camera. But after we got our food, we came back to the condo and we decided to just watch some shows and really chilled on the couch, edited and posted some content that we had. And we're gonna go to dinner. We learned our lesson from the first night in the first place where we went where they did not serve us because we got there too late that we have to get to dinner early. So right now it's 6.01 and uh, and we have to be there at, um, we're gonna leave by seven to get there at 7.30. Their last seating is at 8.30. So we just wanna make sure that we actually get to sit down and dine this time. We're going to this place called The Citizen. Someone recommended it to us. And when I was looking at places to eat here in 30A, that was one of the top rated restaurants that I've found. And I guess it's in a place called Alice Beach. So there's multiple beaches um, along the handle and it's like Panama City Beach, Rosemary, or um, Alice Beach, Rosemary Beach, Santa Rosa Beach. We're staying on Santa Rosa Beach, but Alice, Alice Beach, I think it is called. I don't know if it's Alice or Alice, but I think it's Alice. It looks so cute, like on TikTok, it looked like Greece. So I'm excited to see like it gave Greece type of vibes and that y'all know I love a good aesthetic okay y'all just finished getting ready I have on this long maxi dress from White Fox Boutique Valentino earrings and my Dior heels and I'm gonna wear my Dior bag but I have that in the living room and I don't feel like grabbing it so 
I made it right on perfect timing. It is 6.59, so we're gonna walk out the door and I'll see y'all at the restaurant. Your experience here mm -hmm. amazing they are so nice super welcoming um ambiance is cute and the food is good i'm back home so niana and i got back from 30a yesterday as you can see our coffee table came i'm gonna film an unboxing with y'all these were my last two big pieces that i needed um were the bar stools and my coffee table so i'm so excited i got this coffee table from west elm and it's a stone coffee table this is like what i've been waiting for to tie everything together now i haven't bought what i want to put on top of my coffee table so I definitely want it and I'm pretty sure I've showed y'all my couch that has come. Y'all saw the art, my arch mirror, my rugs, so everything's tying together. Let's open this box after I do this. After I see what it looks like and how it fits, then I will start deciding on what I want to put on top of it. Can't even sit in peace Cause all that these niggas become you I'm just saying I can be Yeah One that you call and you talk to Girls I'll share my world Get your ass in an apartment, put you inside a G class, that's just 
just a thought it could plenty things got in life but none of them is a thought of it no peace around my neck his chest hey y'all what do you think so cute right these are not going to be the decorations that i put on the table this that candle's for my bedroom actually and y'all know that these vases are from the bathroom but i just kind of wanted to i filmed a tiktok unboxing too so i wanted to add some decor on top just to do a little razzle dazzle until i get it i think i'm gonna get some books obviously a chanel book because duh why not and probably like some incense and a candle but i think it's so cute this is perfect let me send a picture to my mom my table y'all i'm so excited about it i'm gonna finish cleaning up and i have to get some work done today i haven't had any breakfast or coffee so that's what i'm about to do my camera's about to die so i'm rushing off the camera but let me know what y'all think about my couch and my living room setup i'll talk to y'all later hey y'all happy sunday Chanel and I, as y'all can see, are out on our walk, our morning walk. She actually loves to walk when it's cool outside like this because when it's hot out, Frenchies don't do well with hot weather. They can't stay out very long and they start to overheat. Sorry if it's a little loud. Right by this busy street and all these cars are passing. Yesterday, I kind of did like a Saturday reset because I knew today was gonna be a little busy for me. So I spent the day yesterday cleaning and kind of just relaxing. Hey, we actually have a lot of work to catch up on before tomorrow's Monday meeting. I'm so behind and I'm actually kind of scared because I have not been doing as much work as I need to get done for sepia because of my trip that I took. So yesterday I needed a day to not do anything between traveling, and working i needed a day to just sit still in my house watch movies and chill and that's exactly what i did today i have to spend the day catching up Oof. and then tonight i have a birthday dinner to go to for my friends i have to get ready for that dinner it's at this cute place called palo santo in atlanta i have not been but i've seen people post it and i've looked at their instagram super cute place i'm excited about that tonight so up until then i pretty much have to catch up on work and then i have to take photos before i leave for the dinner so i need to time myself perfectly so that i have time to take photos and get dressed for dinner tonight so that's the plan for today chanel and i are about to finish our walk in this beautiful fall weather i actually like the fall i used to say summer was my favorite season which it actually still is but fall is a close second just because especially in the south it's not too cold and it's just beautiful outside and i feel like it's like the beginning of fall that i like like i like october fall Chanel outside. Neon and I are supposed to be linking up to film content, get some content done before we go to our friend's dinner at um, 8. So we said we're going to meet up at 6. It's already 5. So I need to hurry up because I'm only giving myself an hour to do my hair and my makeup and get dressed. So that should be interesting. I'm going to open up these boxes with y'all before I start getting ready. Wow. Now, if I would have broke my statues, I would have been pissed. 
So I got these cute statues. They go like this. And I'm gonna put them on. It's like a man and a woman and he's like kissing her. They're separate. I thought this was real classy, real grown and it goes with my aesthetic. Y'all saw what my table looks like. So I think I'm gonna put that on the living room table. And this should just be a candle, I think, but it might be a really big candle. Oh, I got coasters too, I forgot. Oh, these are perfect. So I got marble coasters to match my marble table and the texture is like spot on with the table. Because when I read the instructions, it said that you don't wanna put wet or cold drinks on there. So let's put the coasters, the statues, and then this must be our candle. Mmm, smells good already for the box. Ooh. Oh my God, this smells amazing. And I'm not exaggerating. It was gigantic. I'm gonna have to remember this order in this brand. It's from Serene. This, I'm about to light it right now because this smells good. It's gonna have my house smelling fruity. This makes me want a smoothie. Okay, I'm gonna set this stuff up on the table. Y'all let me know what y'all think. We like the way this looks. I need to refluff my couch. Is it the vibe giving or should we change out that with this? Okay, y'all let me know in the comments whether you like this arrangement better or if you like the statues up there better. And All right, y'all, I'm about to get in the shower. Take these boxes to the trash, then I'm about to get in the shower. It's like when you're ready. I will talk to y'all when I'm done getting dressed and ready. Hey y'all, so I just finished getting dressed. I put on this blazer dress, some pretty little thing. I've already posted a photo in this, but I didn't get to wear it anywhere. I just um, took photos in it, so I put that on. And then I have on these little YSL booties. And then I'm gonna wear my YSL bag. Nene is here. Nene is here. I don't know if you guys can see me. Probably not, because I got a dark as hell with the, without the light. But we're about to film some content. There we go. Drink some wine like the grown, classy women that we are, okay? Let me find one that I have. But I'm saying obviously, if I wanted to go fast, the words be slow for us. Yeah. Who's other than Zila? Yeah. Bitch, who is Zila? Who's Zila? Bitch, you know what's the same. Bitch, you know. When are you gonna start recording? I think it was slower. No, it's on two times. No, I'm saying that maybe you have to start recording for it to actually. Who's other than Zila? Bitch, who is Zila? Who's Zila? Bitch, you know. Okay, y'all. So we finally are leaving. It's 8:21. We're supposed to get there at eight. But they're not there yet. They're on their way there. So they're going to be late today. Time. Damn they're funeral, gonna be late. wedding. I told them. They're going to be late. So Godly. now we're just leaving. We're going to record one more video on our way there. And we will see y'all when we get to Palo Santo. <laughs> y'all, we just got here. These bitches are not even here. I'm going to beat, beat they ass. I mean, we done made seven TikToks. Got our content done. Drove here. We supposed to pull up after them. Now we got to hide from them. Because these bitches are still here. I mean, still not here. So we're walking in. We're gonna go on the rooftop and hide until they arrive. I'm out of breath and shit, running. I don't left my purse in the car. I'm all flustered. It's just a lot going on.
I'm so happy that Sleeves came to my surprise birthday party. I have not seen Sleeves in like three months. I might be dramatic, but that's my girl. I don't know if she ever talked about me on this video. You know, I do watch her. But that's my girl, and that's been my girl, and that will forever be my girl. But I just wanted to come on here before I got drunk. And I'm so excited to be here. I love her. I love her. Oh, let me go back to these vlogs. So I just want to let y'all know. That's what I see. CC is the best freaking influencer. So if you're not subscribed, what are you doing? I'm gonna don't come play with it. I'm gonna come beat you up. Don't play with if you don't subscribe, I'm gonna come beat you up. Wait, wait, wait. If you don't subscribe, if you don't subscribe. I'm gonna blow your mama car up. We got ginger shot. <laughs> I'm gonna need one. No, I don't, I don't know what this is. I'm gonna declare it. right now way skinny ass fat oh black they said i was gonna grow in i mean that's amazing that's what you had to eat My motherfucking friends, my motherfucking friends. You should have got him when you had the <laughs> opportunity to. Now you lost, bitch. <laughs> Put this in a motherfucking blog. I'm not playing about this shit. Hey y'all. What's popping? Today is Wednesday. And I have been working all day. Need a little pick me up. Timberland and I are about to go to Cirque du Soleil. I think that's how you pronounce it. At 7.30, it's 5 o'clock, so I just got back in from taking Chanel on like a 20 minute walk. I'm gonna start getting dressed. I love a good show. I love a good concert show. That's my type of vibe. So I need to stop running my mouth because it's already five and then I'm gonna be rushing and have an attitude because we're meeting at 6.30 before to get drinks. So I just want to check in with y'all, tell y'all what was up. Just have been working. That's it. And I also want to say I appreciate y'all. Um, a few of you commented and reached out to me about my last vlog and um, speaking to me about like my mental health when I was speaking on my PTSD and um, my dad. So I really do appreciate y'all for sending your condolences and things like that. that. That warms my heart. And I don't really show a lot of emotion especially when it comes to stuff that's like super sensitive like that. So I'm glad that y'all were concerned and show concern that really does mean a lot. So I'm about to charge my camera, I'll start getting ready and I will see y'all later when I link up with Timberland in Atlantic Station. Okay, I just finished getting ready. So I just end up wearing this white crop top from Zara, this nude and white, um, Varsity jacket from Givenchy, these army fatigue pants from Pretty Little Thing, and white Chanel sneakers, and then I'm just gonna wear my nude Dior bag. So I'm about to drop Chanel off so that she 
is not at home alone by herself while I'm gone. So I don't know how long the show is going to last. It's 610, so I will see y'all when I get to Atlantic Station. It says there's going to be traffic, which is crazy. Well, I shouldn't say that's crazy. I should have knew there's going to be traffic, so I might be a little late. So let's see what happens. Hey, y'all. I found Timberland. <laughs> and we are kind of late because of Atlanta traffic, of course. Not late, but we got here an hour after we wanted to be. Y'all, <laughs> the show just got finished. I'm a little tip. How you doing? How are you? Oh, good. How are you? I'm great. So Ooh. we're leaving the show, and we have to oh, use sorry, the restroom. Huh? Did I interrupt your vlog? No, you can be a part of my vlog. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> my name's Shalice Chanel. What's your name? I'm Joey West. Nice to meet you, Joey West. I'm actually a college student here in Atlanta. That's amazing. What's school do you go to? SCAP. Okay. Savannah College of Art and Design. Okay, cool. That's right. What about you guys? We went to, uh, she went to Clark and I went to Georgia State, but we graduated years ago. Oh, how <laughs> Why are you still holding on to the popcorn? Because the popcorn was $10. So we walking back to y'all house to use the restroom and then we're gonna see what the hookah situation is like because I gotta have some hookah, okay? So yeah, I'm out of breath. We just already walked the mile. Ryan says she's still there, so. Perfect. So our friend Ryan is still at work at yard house. So we gonna pull up over there, see what the vibes is talking about. And then I'm gonna update y'all after I use the restroom. Because I'm about to pee on myself. <laughs> okay. Bitch, I died seeing that TikTok because I'm gonna make that. You ready? 
This bitch trying to get a fucking Instagram video. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> All right, y'all. We are leaving the next station, and we are about to go smoke some hookah at Pasha because. I can't be around Timberland and ever just go home because <laughs> this is somebody that I just love very much. And I just wanna spend all my time with her that I have possible because I feel like I never get to see my friend no more. Mm -hmm. you be neglecting me? I don't be neglecting you. Bitch, your time be neglecting me. <laughs> so we about to go to Hush and get a little hookah. Them, but I had to show y'all my outfit before we left because this jumpsuit is from my friend Timberland's clothing line and it is called It Girl Active Wear. This jumpsuit, y'all, look at it. Look at the back. Look at the booty. Yeah. And it's flare leg bottoms. So I just had to show y'all my outfit before I left the house. I'll see y'all when we get to the last shop. Y'all, we're at India's shop. About to get our lashes done. You is a little irritating. My legs hurt, you guys. So, would you? Okay, guys, we just finished getting my lashes done. India ate that up per usual. I was gonna go to Starbucks to work, but India told me I can't go. <laughs> so she recommended another coffee shop, but they close at three, so I'm gonna have to find somewhere else to go work. But I'm going to go to lunch and get some ramen because it's a rainy, cold day outside. So I feel like that just fits the vibe. So I'm gonna get ramen and then I'm gonna find somewhere to work that's not Starbucks. Yay! Girl, child, please. Change your lives one step at a time. <laughs> one day at a time until I walk in this bitch and see with a Starbucks cup <laughs> next I, time. I definitely will be back. <laughs> and then I'm gonna cut your ass out. Okay, I'll see you later. Oh, I don't have a hood. Why not? You don't have I do probably in my I car. I want those shoes. You said that last time. Get them from Farfetch. I did. Yeah. No, I want them. Do they put them in person? On what? In person. No, I want them right now today. Literally. I don't know where they sell Asics in person. Bye. See you later. Y'all, uh, it's raining and I'm cramping. It has the nerve to be a gloomy day. It's like, God is telling me to go curl up back in a ball and go home. But I did that yesterday and I feel like I have to be productive and it's hard when it's gloomy and raining outside. It's like, just go home and curl back up and get in your bed. But I'm gonna try my best to not do that. So I'm about to go get lunch at Jinya Ramen and then after that, 
I'm going to try to get work somewhere cute. I'm gonna have to look it up on TikTok because India showed me this place. Well, they open back up from 5 30 to 10. So I don't know. I don't think lunch is gonna take that long. So I'm gonna head over to Jinya. Which I don't really love, but it works. Starting route to Jinya Ramen Bar. So I'll see y'all later. Proceed to Briarwood Road. <laughs> I said I was about to go to somewhere and work, but the way these cramps in my mood are, nope. I'm about to go home and sit on my couch, and I just got me some Midol and some snacks, and I'm about to take my talents back home where I can be comfortable. Cause this honey, I was cramping the entire time that I was getting my lashes done. And I'm like, okay, it should probably go away. And then it lightened up a little bit. I went to go eat Rami. I started to cramp a little bit up in there. And then, girl, please move. And then I got to Target and I'm just like buying, trying to buy like ice cream. I just bought like three different kind of ice creams. So I'm about to bust down my little ice cream and do some work on the couch and chill because my body is telling me no, 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 no. No means time to go home. And it's Friday night. So yeah, your girl's about to go chill. And so for my next vlog, I wanted to ask y'all if y'all wanted to see another vlog or do y'all want to see me drop Niana and I's Q&A video um, next Monday. 
so I have the Q&A video filmed already obviously but I just don't know how to do it because when I put all the footage together it came out to be it says it's like um three and a half hours long and I haven't edited edit it down to see um what the actual length is gonna be but that's a very long video so I'm thinking about doing it in two parts and cutting it in half and doing like the Q&A part one Q&A part two but I don't know so tell me what y'all think I should do do y'all want the vlog another vlog on Monday or do y'all want part one of the Q&A or maybe the whole thing if I chop it down enough I might be able to get it in one video what do y'all prefer or would y'all rather me do both should I do a vlog on Monday and then just drop the Q&A in the in the meantime between time I don't know y'all let me know what y'all want let me know what y'all want to see the Q&A is a little spicy I can give y'all that but first today I'm probably just going to chill finish up the vlog and work a little bit so that is the end of this weekly vlog make sure you comment so and let me know what y'all thought like this video come on now car and also remember to let me know what y'all want to see next week for monday's vlog thank you for watching my video i love y'all and see y'all next week